first of all, welcome. It's Monday and um, I'm glad you're here. I am feeling so inspired to be back in my apartment and be able to flow here and uh, have good Wi-Fi. Um, so this week, we've got a new week of focus. Um, this is going to be a core challenging week. So everything is core focused, really figuring out um, in your own body how to stimulate and engage every part of your core up center down and sides um and if along the way you feel like you are just fatiguing and you're super tired just don't do as many repetitions as we do like think about quality not necessarily quantity so again if we're doing like 15 reps of something but you feel like you're gassed and you're not really getting full engagement and you're just kind of like doing the motions try and do less and try and stimulate your core and just feel your belly pulling into the spine, depending on which um, specific action we're doing. So that's one thing. And then other than that, breathing is super important. So when you inhale, you take in a breath, you expand. And then when you exhale, you contract. So think about inhale is expanding and exhaling is contracting. And if you don't breathe, you don't really get that full range of strength in your core. So those are two really great tips. And let's get ourselves started in child's pose, fingertips forward and knees out wide. All right, take a full breath in and a full breath out. Again, full breath in, full breath out. One more like that, full breath in, full breath out. Roll yourself forward to hands and knees. Inhale, cow, drop belly, lift, gaze. Exhale, cat, round, tuck, and curl. Again, inhale, cow, drop the belly, lift, gaze. Exhale, cat, round, tuck, and curl. Come back to neutral, send your left leg back, reach your right arm forward, one-legged table. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Bend your left knee, look over your right shoulder, grab for your foot. Big kick back. Here for four, three, two, one. Right hand comes down, modified side plank. Lift your left arm, lift your left foot, and then reach your left arm all the way forward. On your inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. So core contraction here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Pause, grab for your foot. Big kick back. For four, three, two, and one hand down, knee down. Right leg goes back. Left arm reaches forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen, bend your right knee, look over your left shoulder, grab your foot. Big kick back for four, three, two, one hand down, knee stays down, right leg stays lifted, modified side plank, lift your right arm. Reach your right arm all the way forward, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Grab for your foot. Big kick back. Looking past your shoulder for three, two, and one. Hand down, knee down. Go ahead and take yourself back to a seat. Work on this first little part here. Heel stay down, core engaged. Round the spine. Reach your arms forward. And then very slowly create that cow or cat spine rather as you lower about halfway. Keep your heels down. Four, three, two. Pull yourself up, make cats with cow spine. Lift your chest and then all the way back. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. And inhale, lift. Exhale, back. And if you want more challenge, lift your heels. Inhale, exhale, back. Inhale, lift, exhale, back, two more. Inhale, lift, 
exhale back one more inhale lift exhale back and hold very slowly we're going to lower down to the back in four three two and one onto the back pull your lower back down pull your knees in so they're stacked over your hips flex your toes take your hands to your ears lift and then lower down so we go ten nine the goal here is to keep your knees over your hips and to keep your low back squeezing down to the mat four three two one hold at the top reach your arms forward right leg goes forward back in left arm goes left leg goes forward back in right leg goes forward left leg goes forward eight the whole goal here you guys is a go a little bit slower if your low back lifts but keep your low back squeezing down to the ground that's going to engage your core four three two and one knees come in together hands come underneath your butt now we're going to get lower core here legs come forward keep your low back down if you can legs out and cross eight seven six five four three two one knees come in all the way back up to the sky and then back down two inches from the ground keep your low back down legs out cross eight seven six nice five four three two one knees come in legs all the way back up to the sky low back squeezing down last round of these little warm-ups legs come two inches from the ground or just to where your tailbone stays down and the low back down legs out and cross eight seven six five four three two one knees come in all right getting into a little oblique work let the knees drop two inches from the ground to the left and then take your hands to your ears now lift and lengthen so you're trying to pull your left elbow towards your right knee without pulling your knees in too close eight seven six five four three two one stay at the top hold four three two and switch knees over toward the right now you can always drop your knees down if you feel like this is too challenging so we're going to lift and lengthen eight seven six five four three two one hold at the top four three two back through center rock and roll forward and back cross your ankles plant your hands Come back to tabletop and then push back to plank. Hold your plank. So belly down core, the belly is facing down, rocking your head forward, rocking your chest forward, shoulders stacked over your wrists here for four, three, two, and lower all the way down to your belly. Okay. So we're going to work a little spinal and then um, back core strengthening. Keep the tops of the feet down. Take your arms at a cactus shape, lift your head, neck, and chest. Hold right here, lower, lift back up, lower back down, lift back up, lower back down. We got eight more. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Again, lift and lower. Five more. Lift and lower. Four, lift and lower, lift and lower lift and lower you're gonna lift and hold so do you feel this you should feel it from the front of your core to the outside back of your core so think about this nice belt of core strength hugging all the way around to your back arms reach back four you can even reach them back further three you can lift your feet if you want two and one lower down plant your hands press up to plank Take as many push-ups as you want before we go to up dog and then down dog Get a nice stretch. Send it all the way back to down dog when you're ready. So the core is nice and warm, hopefully. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Again, full breath in, full breath out. 
Now bend your knees, look forward, hop to the top. Deep forward fold, let your head relax. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Or you head into a big circle. And let's get ready to move. Take a halfway lift flat back. Exhale forward fold. Rise to stand, arms above your head. Hands come to heart. Take a moment, find your intention for practice. Inhale, lift your arms. Take a back bend of your choice. Inhale, lift. Swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, crouch and curl. Come to a seat, boat pose. It's gonna be lots of core today. I'm just gonna tell you. <laughs> so we're gonna go low boat to high boat. You can keep your hands behind you or you can keep your hands to your heart space. Here we go, low boat to high boat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna rock and roll forward and back, press your ankles, plant your hands, shoot it back to plank. Nice. From your plank, lower down to your bellies. Here we go. Four times, lift and lengthen, arms back. And lower, five, four, three, two, one, hold at the top. Full expression, three, two, and lower down. Plet, press up to plank, take your push-ups and flow. All the way back to down dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Bend your knees, look forward, hop to the top. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Rise to stand. Back bend, exhale. Inhale, lift. Swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, crouch and curl. Come to a seat. Boat pose, high to low, hands or no hands. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rock and roll forward and back. Hop back to plank. We'll do a plank. Full breath in. Lower down to your bellies. Five times lift. And lower. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Stay lifted. Full expression. Three. Two. One. Lower down. Press up to plank. Take your push ups and flow. All the way back to down dog. <laughs> full breath in, full breath out. Bend your knees, look forward, hop. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Rise to stand. Last warm up. Back bend, exhale. Inhale, lift. Swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Crouch and curl, come to a seat. Boat pose, you're getting better, right? Low to high, eight, seven. So again, if we're going too fast for you, maybe you're going a little slower, you don't get as many reps, but you get quality over quantity. Three, two, one, rock and roll forward and back. Cross your ankles, plant your hands, shoot it back to plank. When you're ready, lower down to your bellies. Here we go, lift and lengthen, five. Think about your lower core and your outer core wrapping around your back, lifting you up. Four, three, two, one. Arms reach back, full expression. Three, rise a little higher. Two, one, lower it down. Press up to plank, take your push-ups, float up dog to down dog. All the way back, full breath in, full breath out. Bend your knees, look forward, hop to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, sit low. Arms lift. Now from here, create a little back bend shape. Elbows back, chest reaches up. 
Okay, for four, core engaged here. Think about knitting the rib cage in, even though you're expanding. And then on your exhale, pull in, belly to spine, cat spine, reach your arms forward, come to your toes. Four, three, two, one. Heels come down, hands to heart, left elbow, right knee, chair twist. Now from here, can you pull your belly away from your thighs, work your obliques, inhale, exhale, press and twist. Again, inhale, exhale, press and twist. Keep your knees together, inhale, exhale, press and twist. Last three two, one back through center, arms lift. Hands to the heart, right elbow, left knee. Inhale, exhale, press and twist. Inhale, exhale, press and twist. Three more, inhale, exhale, press and twist. Inhale, exhale, press and twist. One more, inhale, exhale, press and twist. Come back through center. Chair pose onto your toes. Now from here, sink a little bit deeper, hips to heels, knees out wide, reach your arms forward. Now as slow as you can, you're gonna lower your butt down to the ground, coming into your boat pose, soles of your feet together, arms come wide, very slowly lowering down to your back. Four, three, two, lay on your back. Knees are about hip width distance apart, feet are forward, right into bicycle crunches, right elbow, left knee, right leg goes forward and switch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right knee, left, el right elbow, left knee. Lift and lengthen. I want you guys to keep your knees stacked over your hip. We're going to lift and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go ahead and switch. Right knee over hip, left leg long, left elbow, right knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back through center, rock and roll, forward and back. Can you come into chair from here? Good, arms reach up. Exhale, airplane arms come to your toes. Heels down, hands to heart. Left elbow, right knee, inhale, exhale, press and twist. Look down to the ground, pull your left heel and engage your core as you find your balance. So super important when you're in balancing positions, how can you continue to engage your belly? Four, three, two, extend your leg back, hold, keep it lifted, flamingo. Four, three, two, drop the left foot, inhale, Exhale, press and twist. Look past your shoulder. Lengthen your back leg. Last three. Last two. And one, lift your right arm. Open arm twist, lift your whole body. Extend your right hand back. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Keep reaching your right arm back, extending your left leg. Engaging your core. Think about your right rib cage pulling back and your right obliques pulling you back. Four, three, three to bend your back knee, exalted lunge, right hand, left thigh, left arm reaches up and then pull it around to the nape of your neck as you continue to look past your right shoulder. Last four, three, two, and one. Look forward, step both feet together, chair pose, lift your arms. Hands to heart, right elbow, left knee. Inhale, exhale, press and twist. Look down to the mat, pull your right heel in, hold. Use the strength of your core to lift you a little bit more. Four, three, two, one. Extend the leg back, flamingo, hold. Keep lifting the foot. Four, three, two, one. Drop your right foot behind you, hold. Inhale, exhale, press and twist. Can you pull your belly away from your thigh? Last four. Three, keep straightening your back leg. Two, lift your left arm, come up to open arm twist. Extend your right arm, lengthen your back arm. And then think about pulling your left rib cage and obliques back and look back. Straighten your back leg, bend your left knee a little more. And let's go to exalted, bend your back knee, left hand, right thigh, lift your right arm. Continue to spin, continue to contract your core. Maybe right hand to the nape of your neck. 
three, two, look forward, step both feet together, chair pose with airplane arms. Pause, come to your toes, think your hips to your heels, knees out wide, rounding your spine, getting your butt down to the ground, coming right into your boat pose. Inhale, soles of your feet together, arms out wide, lean back, belly to spine, round the spine, lower all the way down to the mat, knees come in right into your bicycle crunches. Twist, twist, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right elbow, left knee, keep it stacked over the hip. Lift and lengthen, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and switch. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back through center, rock and roll forward and back. Cross your ankles, plant your hands, hop back to plank. Hold your plank. All right. This time, right hand, right foot is your base side plank. You can always spin. You can all drop the back knee if you want. You can lift your left leg. Holding here, find your stacking right shoulder over your wrist. Hips high, don't let them sag. Four, three, two. Back to plank pose. Hold your plank. Five, four, three, two. Left hand, left foot is your base side plank. Lift. Keep your left shoulder stacked over your wrist. Strong engagement. Four, three, two, one. Back to plank. Hold your plank. Last 10, nine. Push them out away. Five, four. Deep breaths. Three, two, rinse your push ups and flow chaturanga. So good. All the way back to down dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale your right leg high. Bend your knee, stack your hip, open it up. And then straighten your right leg. We're gonna come into side plank, left hand, left foot is your base. Lift and lengthen. So obliques are firing, shoulders stacked over your wrist. I'm gonna take three-legged dog again, right leg high. Keep your right leg straight, right foot, right wrist. Compress. Inhale, lift. Again, exhale, compress, right foot, right wrist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right foot, right wrist, hold. Four, three, two, on one, drop your right foot, send it forward into dragon lunge. Now lengthen. Lift your chest, lengthen your back, hip flexor. Take your left arm wide, we've got dragon kicks today. We've got eight total, so on your own time, however you wanna get there, left leg forward, we go eight, leg back, seven, this will warm you up. Six, the wider your left arm, the more room you have to step the leg through. Four, three, two, one. Keep it forward, hold right here. The leg lifts up and taps your right hand. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Low obliques are on. Three, two, one. Left leg back, drag and lunge, hold. Using the strength of your core, you're gonna come into Skandasana to the left. Try and not use both hands. Try and maybe one hand, take yourself over, bending your left knee, and then flexing the right toe. Keep your hands together or reach for diamond shape, lean your body back. So really important, you guys, not to let your left knee come in, push it out, and then arms reach forward, lean your body back to challenge yourself a little bit more. Last four, three, two, Without the use of your hands, can you come into warrior two, bending your right knee? Whew. Open yourself all the way up. So good, extend your arms. Reverse your warrior, lift your right arm. Three, two, one, side angle. This time when you reach your left arm forward, you wanna reach and extend a little bit more and not push into your right arm. Maybe only just like a tiny bit of weight is on your right arm. Four, three, maybe both arms reach forward. Two, on one, low lunge, hands surround your right foot, lean your chest forward on your inhale. Exhale, straighten both legs. 
Inhale, rebend your front knee, standing split left leg, high, let your head drop down. If you want more core challenge, maybe you're taking handstand hops or you're reaching your arms back and trying to balance yourself, maybe just with the fingertips. For four, three, two, one, Shiva squat, core work here. Pause. And you're gonna take your hands to heart space, take your left elbow to your right knee, outside of the knee, and you're trying to get into a twist, so Shiva twist. Squeeze your inner thighs together if you can, left knee back of right calf. Five, four, three, two, pull your left knee in. Balance. Right hand, left thigh, or foot, left hand reaches behind you. Now you wanna lean back a little further, flex your left toes. So good. Three, two, warrior three, leg back, arms forward. Hook your thumbs, make one line of energy from your hands to your foot. So good. Now together, come back into that Shiva, bring both knees together, and then drop your left foot down, chair pose, arms lift. Hands to heart, left elbow, right knee. Inhale, exhale, press and twist. Look down to the ground, pull your left heel in toward your butt. Extend your left leg back, hold. Four, three, two, send your left leg back behind you, revolve lunge. Keep your belly away from your thigh, lengthen your back leg, here for four, three, two, one, lift your right arm. Open arm twist, lift the whole body. You've done this before. Reach back, lengthen, straighten your back leg. Think about pulling your right oblique slash right rib cage back behind you. And then exalt, bend your back knee, right hand, left thigh, lift and lengthen. Four, three, two, listen, left hand down to the mat, low lunge with a twist, right hand reaches up. From here, side plank, left hand, left foot is your base. Lift and lengthen. Your variation, keep your left shoulder stacked. Four, three, two, three-legged dog. Come forward, maybe one-legged plank and flow your chaturanga. Whew. And down dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Left leg high. Stay here, bend the knee, stack the hip. Right hand, right foot will be your base side plank. Bring yourself in. Maybe you wanna keep the foot down, maybe not. Three, right shoulder stacked. Two, one, three-legged dog. From here, left foot taps left wrist. It helps when you look back towards your right foot for this one. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, left foot taps left wrist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap, inhale, lift, exhale, tap, hold, four, three, two, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand, low dragon lunge, lengthen, lean forward. Okay, for dragon kicks, you guys, the wider your right arm is outside of your mat, the better off you'll be for getting the leg through. And if you're already having trouble before, you need to elevate your hips. So lift your hips and then bend the back knee, slide it through, you got more room. And then send it back. So eight times your practice, you can go slower if you want. You can go faster for a little bit extra cardio. This one will burn for sure. <laughs> if you do it effectively. Three, two, when the leg's gonna come forward, you're gonna hold. The right foot lifts up to the left hand, eight, seven, working the low obliques, five, four, three, two, one, send the leg all the way back, low dragon lunge. Pause here, maybe no hands at all. Right knee bends skandasana. Use your core to get you there. Nice, you guys, really good. Lean your body back and then reach your arms forward for a diamond shape and then lean back. Flex your left toes. Remember, right knee tracks out, not in. Getting a little warm now. Whew, I like that. I like it. Last three, two, on one, you're gonna slowly bend your left knee, come into warrior two. And then sink your left knee in, extend your arms out wide. Shoulders down the back. 
so good. Drive your back heel down. Inhale, reverse your way, lift your left arm, lengthen your side body. We're gonna go side angle pose with core emphasis. So less weight on your left arm, more weight toward your core as you reach your right arm all the way forward, one line of energy from your right foot to your right hand. And then think about lifting and lengthening a little bit more off of your left arm. Four, really good. Three, two, on one low lunge to the ground. Bring your chest forward. Exhale, straighten both legs. Rebend your left knee, standing split, core emphasis or handstand hops. That one will definitely get you going. For standing split with core emphasis, reach your fingertips behind you and then just come to like little tense and drop your head. So that's gonna force your core in rather than just using your leg to lift you. All right, from wherever you're at, we're into Shiva squat. Bring your hands to heart. So we're gonna go Shiva with a twist. Right elbow comes to the outside of the left knee. Pull your right heel in toward your butt. Deepen your breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Right knee comes in. Left hand, right thigh. Right arm reaches back behind you. Keep your twist, lean back. Four, three, two, and one. Warrior three, leg back. Arms reach forward, hook your thumbs, make one line of energy from your foot to your hands. Five, four, three, two, back to Shiva. Knees together, feet together. Chair pose, arms reach up. Hands come to heart, right elbow, left knee. Chair twist, inhale, exhale, press and twist. Look down to the ground, pull your right heel towards your butt. Pause. Belly away from your thigh. Extend your right leg back, flamingo. Four, three, two, drop your right foot, inhale. Exhale, press and twist, revolve, lunge. Now keep looking past your left shoulder, externally rotating your left shoulder, looking back, three, two, lift your left arm, open arm, twist, reach back. Lengthen your arms, squeeze your inner thighs together. Left hand, right thigh, exalted lunge, bend your back knee, you lift your right arm. Three, two, low twisted lunge, right hand to the inside of your left foot, side plank, right hand, right foot is your base. Lift and lengthen your variation for five, four, three, two, three-legged dog, come forward one-legged plank and float chaturanga. So nice. Down dog. Take a full inhale and a full exhale. Again like that, full inhale, full exhale. Bend your knees, look forward, big hop to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, sit low. Arms lift. Airplane arms. Heels drop, hands to heart. Left elbow, right knee, inhale. Exhale, press and twist. Look down to the ground, left heel comes in. Extend the leg back, flamingo. Inhale, exhale, drop the foot. Revolved lunge, inhale, belly away from your thigh and your exhale. Right arm lifts, open arm twist, lift the whole body. Exalt, bend your back knee. Full inhale, left hand comes to the inside of your right foot. Side plank, maybe you're grabbing for the knee, getting a little bit more courageous. Three-legged dog, come forward. One-legged plank, one push-up. Drop the right foot down dog, bend the knees, hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, sit low, arms lift. Exhale, airplane arms, come to your toes. Heels down, hands to heart. Right elbow, left knee. Inhale, exhale, press and twist. Look down to the mat, right heel comes in. Right leg extends back, flamingo. Drop your right foot, inhale, revolve, lunge, exhale, press and twist. Left arm lifts above you. Open arm twist, extend. Bend your back knee, exalt. Right hand to the inside of the left foot. Side plank. Your variation may be getting a little bit more courageous. Left hand to your left knee. One-legged plank. 
Come forward. One push up. Both feet down, down dog, bend the knees, hop forward, come to a seat, boat pose. In and out, fingertips behind you or lifted. So go eight, seven, six, you're getting stronger. Five, four, three, two, one. Soles of your feet come together, reach your arms forward, lay yourself all the way down to the back, lower abs, hands come underneath your butt. Maybe head stays down, legs come up to the sky. Lower about two inches from the ground or 45 degrees. Keep your low back down, legs out and cross. So the whole time that you do this scissor kick, see if you can keep your low back down, belly to thigh or belly, belly squeezing into your back, back down to the mat. Four, three, two, one. Knees come in, rock and roll forward and back. Cross your ankles, plant your hands, pop it back to plank. Hold your plank, left hand, left foot is your base. Again, side plank. Can you lift a little bit more? If you haven't tried it yet, can you pull your right knee into your body and then touch it with your right hand? This gets into our peak pose toward the end of our practice. Plank pose, come back through center. Right hand, right foot is your base, same thing. Set yourself up, pull your left knee in. Can you grab for the knee? Challenge yourself. Yes, you guys, so good. Come back to plank, take your push-ups and flow. All the way back to down dog. Full inhale, full exhale. Inhale, right leg high, open up your hip, side plank, left hand, left foot is your base. Whew. If you need to, you can step behind you for a wild thing. Right leg comes in, three-legged dog. Right foot, right wrist, exhale. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right wrist, exhale. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right wrist, hold, compress. Drop the right foot, low dragon lunge. Left hand wide. Eight times, dragon kicks, you guys. Come on, get better. Left leg forward. Practice eight, seven. Get the leg all the way through, lower, your, lower and kick back. Four, three, two, one. Left leg forward, leg lift towards your right hand. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, the leg goes back, low dragon lunge, skandasana, no hands, diamond shape, reach your arms forward. So good, listen, this time you guys, drop your butts down. We're gonna go five times lifting from here. You might have to use a hand, but if you can, use your core to round the spine and lift up. So you need to lower back down, round the spine, lean your chest and arms forward, and then lower back down. If you can't do this without the hands, that's okay, use the hand. Three, almost there. Two, think of this like a sit up. And one, hold skandasana, get there. Right knee bends, warrior two. Woo, reverse warrior, inhale. Side angle, both arms reach forward, hook your thumbs. So good. Low lunge, hands come down, chest forward. Exhale, straighten both legs. Rebend your right knee, standing split or handstand hops. If you can, reach your arms back, maybe just hover and be on the thumbs or the first finger. All together we meet in Shiva squat. Shiva twist, left elbow, right knee. Inhale, exhale, press and twist. Left knee comes in, balance. Right hand, left thigh or foot. Reach back, lean back. Back through center, warrior three, leg back, arms forward. Exhale, Shiva. Both feet together, chair pose, arms lift. Hands to heart, left elbow, right knee. Inhale, exhale, press and twist. Look down, left heel comes in. Left leg extends back. Drop your left foot, inhale. Exhale, press and twist. Right arm lifts, open arm twist. Heads out, lean it back. Left hand comes to the inside of your right foot, right into your side plank. If you can, you guys, peace finger to your right big toe, open. This is our peak pose today. If you can, you straighten the leg. If not, you can bend the knee. Still grabbing for the foot if you can try it. Three, two, one, three-legged dog. Come forward, one-legged plank. Take your push-ups and flow.
Down dog. Full inhale, full exhale. Inhale your left leg high. Side plank, right hand, right foot is your base. Lift and lengthen, maybe you pull your knee in. Maybe you touch your knee or your thigh. Three-legged dog, left leg high. Compress left foot, left wrist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left foot, left wrist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap and hold. Step your foot to dragon lunge. Right hand wide, eight dragon kicks. You're getting better at this, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one leg forward, pause. Right foot toward left hand, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Leg comes all the way back to dragon lunge. Pause, using your core strength. Right knee bends, Skandasana. Diamond shape, reach your arms forward. Same thing, you guys. Lower your butts down. This is super important. Listen here. If you already felt like the other side was challenging, what you need to do is lean your body forward, contract your core, and use a little momentum to lift up, okay? So lower, lift. Think about pulling your head through. Lean into it. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. Yeah, Christy, good, inhale. Exhale, come up. Nice to kneel, exhale, one more. That's it, Danielle, nice Carol. Hold right here, bend your left knee, warrior two. You guys are on fire, I love it. Reverse your warrior, inhale. Side angle, both arms reach forward, hook your thumbs, hold. Four, three, two, look down, low lunge, hands surround your left foot. Lean your chest forward on your inhale. Exhale, straighten both legs. Inhale, rebend your knees, standing split or handstand hops. Core standing split, our arms reach back. So you can come to like one fingertip. Engage your core in, three, two, and one inch here, Shiva squat, hands to heart. Right elbow, left knee, Shiva twist. Right knee comes in. Either grab for the foot or grab for the knee. Right hand reaches behind you, lean back. So good, warrior three. Leg back, reach your arms forward, hook your thumbs. Full breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat, pause. Feet together, chair pose, arms lift. Hands to heart, right elbow, left knee. Inhale, exhale, press and twist. Look down to the ground, right heel comes in. Extend your right leg back, flamingo. Drop your right foot, inhale. Exhale, press and twist. Left arm lifts, open arm twist, extend your arms, lengthen. Bend your back knee, exalt. Hand comes the inside of your left foot. Okay, from here, we're gonna come into our side plank. Can you take your left piece finger, your left big toe, roll to the knife edge of your right foot and lift. Maybe the knee stays bent, maybe it doesn't. Three, two, one, three-legged dog, come forward, one-legged plank and flow. And all the way back to down dog. Full breath in, full breath out. All right, together. I want you to come to your knees. This is our last bit in our peak pose, okay? So we're gonna do a first a modified side plank with a toe grab. All right, so left hand, left knee will be down. And then you're gonna come into that modified side plank. Now from here, I want you to send your right, or either, let's do this. Right foot is forward, left knee stays down. So you're in like a, kind of like a half um, tabletop. Now, piece finger to your right big toe. I want you to then come into your modified side plank, lift your right leg, okay? Because this is the motion that we're doing when we come into our side plank. If you can't get this right here, bend your knee, grab for your knee and lean back, okay? So those are two options for you if you're still working on that straight leg. If not, I want your left shoulder to be stacked over your wrist the whole time, okay? Good. Now relax that down. Let's come into the other side. So step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Right, right knees down. Now, piece finger to your left big toe. Come into your modified side plank and then lift your left leg. Again, if you're having trouble lifting the leg and keeping it straight, bend is fine or grab to the knee and lean back. Keep your right shoulder stacked over your wrist, okay? So lengthen, 
lean back. And the fullest expression, you guys, is not down. It's actually leaning back and chest exposed to the sky. Okay? So now let's come back in the tabletop. We'll set up for our first side. Left hand, left foot is gonna be your base. Now it's really important to shorten your stance on this one because the sole of the foot being down to the mat and working your ankle mobility is gonna be how you get that high lift rather than a long lift. The longer and far apart your hand and your foot are, the more challenging this position is. The closer in you are, you have a little bit more accessibility. So get to a spot where I'm gonna have you like this. Bend your knees, just like me and then pull your left shoulder over your wrist. Now pull your right knee in and then lift from here. Okay, if your left knee is still bent, that's okay. You're just working on this here. Work this. If you want to, send your left leg back a little bit and you might just work that. Keep your foot down, then start to straighten. Good, five. Oh, that's awesome, you guys. Four, three, two, one. We come back down. Okay, we're gonna start the same way on the other side. So it's bent legs, right hand comes forward. The most important thing is keeping your shoulders stacked of your wrist. The farther away you are, the more challenging it's gonna be for you, okay? And we don't want misalignment. So knees are bent, maybe a little further away. Stack, left knee comes in, peace finger to your left big toe. You're gonna have a more dominant side, by the way. Straightening your right leg will just give you more stacking and lift, okay? So the fullest expression of this, you guys, is when you lift up and you lean back a little bit. Yeah, really good. Four, three, two, and release. Holy cow. All right, come to any easy seat. And now that's a lot for the wrist. So let's just kind of shake out the wrists, roll them in some circles, like so. Good. And then the other direction. <laughs> now lift your arms above your head and make open palms and then close. So we'll go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake them out. Take your hands together and then make big circles. So the palms face and then the back of the hands face. You're gonna switch that direction. Mm -hmm. Come to an easy seat. Roll your shoulders down the back a couple times. Roll your neck out. <sighs> Inhale your arms above your head. Exhale, hands to heart space. Just take a moment to thank yourself for showing up, mind, body, and spirit. And to this good energy, we share hands at third eye center. We bow forward, sealing our practice. Thanks, friends. Amazing job. Woo!